seconds is left to take in this Poundland McGull novices chase. Third time lucky is in fourth place as they exit the back straight. Two lengths to Mick Pasta and two lengths to For Pleasure. They haven't lost any more ground. As Edward Stone's just dropped off Amarillo Sky. As they race towards the fence on the side what? of the course. Edward Stone was put in that third time lucky. He survives. Losing a pedal, Harry Skelton. Oh, well done. <laughs> Great shot. He's taking a while to get it back. You can see him reaching down with his left hand, just trying to get his foot back in the iron as he was perched on one side as they race towards the third last. Gentleman to me, Edward Stone on the outside. Third time lucky, and Amarillo Sky first in the home straight. Edward Stone was asked up and is still to get to a gentleman to me who leads and still is travelling comfortably. Edward Stone and third time lucky, Harry Skelton did so well to keep him in the race. Last ditch is due from the finish. Oh, gentleman black. is in and Edward Stone lands with some momentum and now throws down his challenge but it's all on. at the Come moment on, and gentlemen to me it is who finds a little bit more by stargazing slightly out in front third time lucky is done with but Edward Stone still has not got past gentlemen to me who heads down towards the final bench in the Begal with an increased advantage yep. of four lengths Edward Stone is over in second but it looks about that's the forecast it doesn't matter which one wins gentlemen to me driven out towards the line who's going to make all the running in the power and Willie Mullins and the J.P. McManus colours. Edward Stone's colours lowered in second place. Third time lucky in third. In fourth place, fourth pleasure. Across the line, Nick Pasta. And last of all is Amarillo Sky. Gentleman to be in his. He makes the every fourth, single yes. yard of the running. The writing was slightly on the wall for Edward Stone as early as the cross fence. A slow leap by Gentleman Demi, two out, gave Edward Stone a chance. But it was Gentleman Demi who found plenty on the run to the last. Mark Walsh in the colours. He will ride in in the national on any second now. Has won the Grade One McGull for Willie Mullins. Good luck for seeing Ruby analyse that near run seat. That was some stick. And a really good performance here from the winner, AP. Yeah, Mark got in a lovely rhythm. Ed has jumped and got better as the race went on. The only little semblance of a mistake he made was at the second last. But when Edward Stone tied the challenge, he just a little bit left. Um, you know, I don't think it was any excuses for Edward Stone. He obviously has had a busy season so far. As the owner said beforehand, it's probably hard to come here after being to Cheltenham to come and win here. And he's come up against a really good horse and gentleman to me. Yeah, I wonder if they possibly didn't go that quick because gentlemen to be on the front end Edward Stone admittedly was right there but they kind of landed over the second you thought well here we go Edward yeah. Stone's going to go and catch him and then the winner had plenty left yeah but like Mark Walsh has ridden an intelligent race he saved that little bit for when he had that kick and when he had the kick Edward Stone had no response like there was no excuses for Edward Stone you know plenty of people will say oh maybe he's a little bit flat after Cheltenham but you know this horse is he's a victor today and I think he deserves plenty of others Mark, that looked electric. Yeah, he's brilliant now. He's a very forward going horse. We tried to hold him up and his horse to run through didn't work, so we just let him make the run and it suits him because he wings fences. He just loves to get on with it. He certainly got on with it today. He loved the colours of Edward Stone. It's a big day for you, any second now and the big one. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to now. It's always great to have a winner before you go to the national it gives you a bit of confidence up looking forward to it. Certainly in the right colours, good luck. We had a reverse forecast there. What are your orders? Here's the jockey cam, looks on Edward Stone. This gentleman to me, AP, disappearing into the distance. And you'd imagine this horse down the track goes into the Mullins Brigade now with an ergamine. He'll be the defending champion as a champion chase contender. Yeah, he was very impressed, as Mark said. The improvement seems to have come from making their own. He seems to like 